Well, happy, happy, happy fucking Friday to you all. Uh, for a lot of people, their Friday really hasn't begun yet. But I figure I'm going to be a nice guy and usher in the end of the week and the beginning of the weekend by uh, laughing at some stupid shit. And uh, the stupid shit in question involves our, our old friend there, Mr. Brian Dunn, Mr. Queen of Outlines. Now, uh, recently, a person by the name of Pippi the Pipe Bomb has decided to bless the cowboards with some um, interesting DMs from Discord and some audio logs that were dropped there. Uh, and I figure I was previously on fucking cow because of something that uh, Elaine Miller had posted. And then, well, next thing I know, I uncover this shit. So I figure, hey, let's go on a little journey. You know, let's let's talk about this stuff. Uh, now, you can see right here, uh, I do have a video up. Uh, it's just a still image of uh, Brian Dunn fighting with, uh, you know, a little pipe bomb there and the Mortal Kombat theme song playing. Uh, I'm not going to play the video for obvious reasons, but if you do want to check it out, if you do want to read this at your own leisure, okay, link to this is going to be in the description below. Recommend you read it. Uh, recommend you check out the audio logs and uh, a whole lot more uh, is going to be posted. But for right now, we're just going to get into what we have right now. So, <clears throat> okay, so here we have DMs between uh, Brian Dunn. In this case, Brian Dunn's name is Doc. And a person by the name of Maddie Cat. Medicat says to Brian Dunn, I am being serious. It's a video and I don't know how to edit. Brian Dunn replies to Maddie saying, then send it to me, then send it and I'll edit it. What's in the video? Maddie responds to Brian saying, and I don't want to give you nudes of other people unless I actually know something will come from it. Brian responds to Medicat saying, what do you want to come from it? Who's nude Who's nude in it? I need context, a description. Maddie responds to Brian saying, give me a few, hang on. Uh, and here we have Maddie uh, posting a screenshot of a Discord voice call uh, Maddie is currently in, or at least as of, you know, when this DM took place. Uh, if we zoom on in, there we go. Uh, you'll notice that it's uh, full with a bunch of play gang members, uh, one of which is a man by the name of Ferd. Uh, apparently he's now calling himself Ferd. Aro something. Uh, Dank Ninja Master, obviously, that's Dark Ninja. Uh, Dark Matty Cat, uh, that's the, uh, uh, the individual in question. Uh, Dark Z. Mr. Dark Z is, uh, what Zoom is currently calling himself. And the rest, I uh, can't say I'm familiar with them. I'm sure they're all plate gang members. Who they are exactly, I couldn't tell you. But, uh... Manny says literally right now, every day, to which Brian Dunn responds with, Holy fuck, LMFAO. Manny responds with, Stop being a faggot about this. Brian responds with, I'm not touching this. It is funny they let a gay trainee hang out with them. Roxo loves trainees, so it makes sense why you're there. Manny responds with two question marks, and Brian continues. Roxo probably finds you attractive. Manny responds with, fine, dude. 
lose an opportunity to burn people who fucking hate you. I have a bunch of shit, but okay, videos. Brian responds with, just dump Axel shit if you want. Cut a promo, Brian continues. Maddie responds with, why not play it? Brian responds with, slit his throat. Maddie responds with, they were doing shit together. Do you not want the cred? I don't know how to edit. Brian responds with, sure, whatever, dump away. Maddie responds with, it has nudity. I'm not just going to leak this shit f to someone hostile and get it leaked again. Brian responds with, I'm confused. You want to leak it, but you don't want it leaked again? Maddie replies with, I will never participate in distributing revenge porn in a dumb fuck way. No judgment, but that's just me. Maddie replies to Brian Dunn saying, Revenge porn. I don't want to do that. But I have info to leak and shit. And I can prove it. But there are parts of it that I'm not okay with putting out there unless it is actually important. And I don't know the lore enough. I've been here one month. Does that make sense? Brian responds with, leave the shit you don't want put there out of the dump. Hand me the rest, please. Thanks if you're being serious. Maddie responds with, I am being serious. It's a video and I don't know how to edit. Brian responds with, then send it and I'll edit it. What's in the video? Maddie replies with, and I don't want to give you news of other people unless I actually know something will come from it. To which Brian replies with, what do you want to come from it? And uh, here we have our good friend, our, our good new friend, uh, Pippi the Pipe Bomb here. Hey y'all, Pippi the Pipe Bomb here. I just wanted to let you guys know a quick update about my good friend Brian Dunn. Brian and I met a few years ago when I showed up in his mailbox, and I've been living around free in his head, much like Danny's cock. Speaking of cock... Brian is still thirsting for penis this day. I'm going to be releasing a series of vlogs in which Brian is spending his late nights running away from his fat wife and child to talk to a tranny on the side of the road. Because just like Lady Antebellum said, it's a quarter after one, he's all alone, and he needs shrooms now. Here are some late night discussions where Brian is parked on the side of a highway in Michigan talking to a tranny that he feels he has a deep connection to. Oh god, are we gonna get another fucking Zephamorian? We have a re we have a fuck. We have a romantic connection, not a sexual one, or or however that goes. Is that what's going to fucking happen? Are we going to have another Zeph, you know, we have a romantic connection, not a sexual one type of situation here? I think we just might. Anyway. Here we go. He encourages the tranny to keep their dick and even says that things will happen to him. I'm sorry. He encourages the tranny to keep their dick and even says that things that happened to him in the past... Make him want to kill himself sometimes. Well, I mean, to be fair, you know, getting caught up in Kraut and T's fucking autistic adventures and then getting made fun of by people like Manneker uh, would make someone want to kill themselves if, you know, naturally they're fucking weak. They are weak-willed individuals, but anyway... He also wakes up from nightmares and contacts the tranny to talk about his dreams while his wife is asleep in the bed next to him, none the wiser. Now, according to Brian Dunn, Brian's wife right now, as we speak, is currently pregnant. So while this woman is fast asleep with a child growing inside her womb... 
Her husband is laying next to her, talking to a fucking tranny on the internet whom Ryan believes he has a deep connection with. Holy fucking shit. The family dynamics with these people. The fucking family dynamics. Who needs reality TV when you have the internet? Who needs reality TV when you have internet blood sports? Hmm? Who needs reality TV? Certainly not me. Anyway. Here are some of these hilarious screenshots, as well as a three and a half hour long recording where Brian says he imagines people in the scene as homosexual and talks in detail about his gay fantasies. Brian begs the Troon to keep their penis multiple times. These are one of many late night bri bri discussions. Never forget, Brian, you're a faggot. Also, a special thanks to our emotional little bee known as Dark Ninja for snaking this faggot. Okay, so I guess it's not necessarily the tranny in question, not the, the Maddie Cat person responsible for this. It's all Dark Ninja's fault. It, fucking Dark Ninja's hurt feelings is the reason why I'm reading this shit to begin with. Then if that's the case, then then who's the pipe bomb? Who's the fucking pipe bomb? Is is it Roxo? Is, is it one of these other plate gang members? <laughs> Could it be the tranny itself? I, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, something tells me that we will and then eventually discover the true identity of uh, who our mysterious pipe bomb friend is. But anyway, continuing. Here is Brian's wife, Cell. 813-720-6664. If you would like to ask her about why her husband is parked on the side of the road three hours before his shift so he can shat up a tune on Discord, feel free. If you'd like to speak to Brian himself, feel free by calling 813-574-9865. Full audio transcripts will get posted later. Okay, so these are just uh, some of the um, audio transcripts that were posted. Uh, according to our pipe bomb friend, according to our pipe bomb friend, the whole three hour long conversation will be posted sometime later. I just want to go through all of these. And as I said, I'm going to be leaving a link to the thread in the description below. So. Y'all can check it out. But anyway, uh, let's start off with, well, naturally, the top one, which is about 40 seconds long. Uh, simply entitled, Be a Trap. Oh, boy. It's what you do. You want to be a good tranny, you get really nice tits. And you hit the gym and you work out. You, you work out like a girl would. Ha you ha happily married man, by the way. Happily married man with a child. With, with one child already born and another child apparently being uh, on the way there. Happily married man calisthenics you get fit you eat healthy get a nice ass nice legs tuck it back yeah show I, it that's what you do throw your hair out put makeup on hair laser laser removal of hair there you go you know maybe it's just me but i like to think that when whenever brian dunn watches uh, rupaul's drag race he normally watches it with his pants off you know, maybe it's just me, but I do think that's something Brian Dunn might do, and he might do that a lot. Yeah, that's what they want. Be a trap. <laughs> that's what they want. There you go. No, yeah. Brian. No, no, Brian. That's what you want. You want this person to be a trap. You are explaining to them what exactly you want them to do so you can fulfill your sexual fantasies. And your desires. Which is very interesting because this guy's apparently married. Yeah, that's, that's sort of what I've been doing. I've been trying to work out and stuff, but Well, that's what the that's what tranny chasers want, I can tell you that. No, that's what you want, Brian. 
that's what you want. The only thing is you're too much of a bitch to openly admit that that's what you want. Oh, well, you know, you know, hair removal, laser hair removal, you know, we'll work to get a big fat ass. That, that's not what I want. Oh, no, that's that's what the tranny chasers want. Just fucking own up to it, my dude. Just fucking own up to it, you fucking coward. Own up to that shit. Admit that you're in a marriage that's not doing well. Admit that you don't love your wife. Admit that you want a tranny. It's what you do. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the next one. Uh, it's a three minutes long one. Uh, this one's called The Sector Gay. People are very strange. Like A lot of people in the chat are like alcoholics and drug addicts, too, and... Yeah. Well, thankfully for me, I'm neither of those things. I'm just mentally deranged. So, my my whole thing in this space has just been like, just people get really mad about me being a trainee. So they. Well, that's because you normally have a bigger penis than all the males in the sector, oh, with the exception of yours truly, of course. It, I just sort of let them, like, people like Mormon Shaggy will just get, like, obsessed with it. And. You know what? But that's because he's gay. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> a lot of the people in the sector don't like trannies. Okay. Front five, fourth. A lot of people in the sector don't like trannies or, or gay people because either they're gay, they're gay, um, or in the closet, kind of gay, or. They are um, perceiving themselves as like some turbo white nationalist, but their identity and how what they represent to themselves and other people has nothing to do with politics. But they don't understand. They're autistic. They'll get angry at you, right, for being a tranny, but they won't explain to you why they're mad at you. you I'm sure you know what I mean. Yeah. They'll just tell you to die. <laughs> like, like I know why. I can tell you right now why. Most people, the average normal person, is fed up with trannies because of a power, power dynamic in politics. You want to ask- Most normal people, uh, especially in the West in America, are perfectly fine with trannies existing. There. It's only the not like non fringe white ringers, which is really not saying much these days, that are um are perfectly fine with what Brian Dunn's about to say. Acts. They want to take over education in school, and they want to they want to have political power in certain things. They want to fret with certain things. That's just one part of it. Then you have stuff like Keffels, who goes around and wants to flag everything down that they don't like. It's a power dynamic. Oh my God! Is the Keffels flagging down everything around your meme still a thing? Really? I thought that fucking thing went out the window after you know. She made a beeline for Ireland. I I thought that all went out the window once that happened and once it came out that she was addicted to cocaine. There. Dynamic. So the average person isn't going to like trannies because they perceive trannies as a political movement, not as a sexuality. Yeah. I think that's why. But they can't – they don't explain – but so when they see a tranny, they go, oh, all total trannies. All trannies have to die. Um, Not everybody is – perceived that way i mean even the right has that one i can't remember i can't remember his name he's uh he hangs out with alex jones i can't remember the name of him you should know what i'm talking about they've been on D- uh, destiny show too they have a big channel youtube channel uh paul joseph watson no <laughs> yes that's exactly it paul joseph watson confirmed fucking tranny there it is boys we got him <laughs> sorry paulina nothing personal <laughs> He's a tranny. Oh, well, not uh, Nick Fuentes. He's almost no. there. He's not a tranny. Oh, he's about ready to troon out. He is going to fucking troon out. I guarantee that if Trump doesn't win the next election next year in 2024, Nick Fuentes is going to troon out. I guarantee if Trump loses, his ass is definitely trooning out. Hold on. Um, 
Alex Jones has been with this person. They're in LA. They have like, they don't even, they look like a real woman now. It's kind of crazy how much surgery they got. I see. Uh, Spoiler alert, it, it's Blair White. Let me type it in transgender interview. It is. Damn it. What is their name? They're a right winger, too. Like a hard right winger. Is it Blair White? Yes. Thank you. That's it. That's the one. Oh, yeah. Better I like her. She's she's cute. Yeah. But that, per well, that person started their career in Gamergate, too, by the way. That was really they were actually a dude. Everyone in this fucking sphere of the internet got their start in Gamergate. Blair White is nothing special. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Yep. Um, they transitioned fully, except like, they kept the penis in the ball. That's the only thing they kept. Uh oh. The only reason why Blair White kept her cock and balls is so she can butt fuck her boyfriend on the daily. That's why. But yeah. they've always been against the. Plus, I'm going to be honest with you. Something tells me that um, Alex Jones has at least has at least sucked off Blair White at least once. There. I guarantee Alex Jones has given a blowjob to Blair White at least once. The, the idea of the surgery. I do know that when I watched her back in the day when I used to watch him. They were very much against this, uh, that completely. Okay. It's not your fault. I just said, I don't know. I always try to impeach this philosophy. I did it to Elaine recently because she was the same way. I was like, Elaine, you have to assume. You have to talk to people. You can't just assume when everything somebody writes about someone is true. That's like believing the news and the government to a T. Like they lie all the time. All the time for their own retarded reasons. You have yeah, to talk to people. Really this is why I don't read. I said I fucking hate you. I haven't logged in my Kiwi Farms account in over two years. It's the best thing I've never done. Mm. I haven't never had an Onion Farms account. Coming out of the closet would definitely do you want. Would definitely help you out a lot more. But I, I don't go to these gay fucking websites because they're fucking useless. Yes, you do. Stop lying. This back in the day. You know, I logged in to argue with these fucking guys, which was retarded because I didn't understand that they didn't. Yes, it was retarded. What did you think was going to happen when you argue with literal shit posters? You fucking mongoloid. Care about the truth. They just wanted to have fuck with me, right? <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> and I was like, so I would sit there and embarrass myself by going, no, you're wrong. This is why. And then I would, uh, and then when I finally realized it, I was petty. I'd make sock accounts and fuck with the owner. You're a faggot. Get banned. Come back. You're still a fag. What are you going to do? Ban me? Get banned. Come back. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Stupid shit. To the point where the owner was so sick of me. You know, I know it's a meme at this point that troll cow Elaine Miller is obsessed with Josh and desperately wants Josh's attention, but I'm starting to think that maybe Brian Dunn is the real, um, the real Josh Poon senpai. Josh Moon Senpai, please notice me, Ubu U person there that we need to make fun of. I'm starting to think that it's Brian Dunn who deserves that title instead of Elaine Miller. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Hey, you try to, you know, try to ban me from his site permanently with illegal things, you know, like legalities. And that didn't work either. Jesus Christ, me? Imagine being so much of a faggot. That you literally have to be, like, sent to fucking court order to stop being a faggot on a website. Holy shit. So, but you can't read what fucking crazy people write about you on the internet. It might, some might be true, sure, but, you know, if you don't talk to the person, understand. One of the first rules on the internet that everyone should know is never take anything you really see on the internet seriously. Especially when it comes to this fucking sector. Never take anything anyone really says in the sector seriously. Because in the grand scheme of things, whether it's Ethan Ralph, Milo Yiannopoulos, myself, 
fucking Godwinson or whoever were all just shit posters and trolls at the end of the day. We're going to say shit that's fucking outlandish in the hopes that it will piss off someone. And what do you know? It usually works when it comes to people like Ryan here. Understand why someone would write that? And how the fuck is it true? Yeah, that makes sense. You know, you're- we're fucking shit posters, Brian. You should know this by now. We're shit posters. We say outlandish things, so retards like you will throw a fit. And once you throw a fit. We point and laugh at you, and then we do the same thing all over again. It's a fucking cycle. And then if you try to ask these people that say this crazy shit, you're like, well, how did you come to this conclusion? Nine times out of ten, they get super angry and defensive at you for even suggesting they're wrong. Doesn't even make any sense. Or not even wrong, just curious as to where they even got this information from. Mm -hmm. Like, Here's my answer. Go fuck yourself. There's my answer. To justify. Th- that's all you got to say to fucking people like Brian Dunn when he comes asking for evidence. Where's this evidence that you said this about me? Is it even true? My response? Go fuck yourself. That's what you got to do. It's a very fucking retarded mindset. Yeah. I don't get it. I said. Yeah, it's strange. I, it just seems like a bunch of losers who spend too much time online, but. Yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but this tranny definitely does not sound at all interested. And uh, Brian's little rant here. Uh, Correct. I mean, it, it is. Well, I we s- all do, but yeah. it is important to that. I say that as a loser who spends too much time online. It could be. Yeah, I do too. All right. So this is going to be the last one. Uh, the one below it, believing things, it's the same one as the one we just went over. So, well, there's really no need to um go over it. But I'm going to play the last one. It's simply entitled Jerg You Off. Mm, gee, I wonder what that's going to be about. Just, uh, you know, meet somebody who will jerk you off or whatever with their mouth or whatever the fuck. Well, isn't that just fucking lovely there, Brian? Uh, just just, just out of my own curiosity, uh, would you personally like to jerk off this uh, trans person with your mouth? Because something tells me you really want to jerk off this trans person in question with your mouth there. But uh, anyway, uh, this is all we got from uh, our little pipe bomb friend, at least for right now. I'm sure more will be coming out sometime within the day. But this is all I can um, really give to you guys for right now. Again, if you do want to go over the entirety of this thread, I'm going to be leaving a link to it in the description below so you can read at your own leisure. But uh, until then, until we get more information uh, on Brian Dunn's uh, Little nighttime escapades. Uh, I hope you all have a good Friday.